Hey, what's up, Will? I'm back again. Um, I'm making my Friday the 13th video ahead of Friday the 13th because I think that it's bad luck to make a video on actual Friday the 13th. And I've got my spider earrings and my eyeball necklace, and I'm not wearing black this year because I just don't feel like doing that. I'd much rather wear orange and eyeballs, okay? Um, because it's more of a Halloween theme than a Friday the 13th. What I'd like to talk about in this video, I want to make a really quick short video, um, just about continuation. I know I have way too many videos about, um, you know, mentioning the cold that I had in May of 97. And you see, oh, first of all, my facial hair is already growing back. I can shave it, but then a few days later, it grows right back. Um, and it's nice and cool out there. I'm loving that. Um, but one thing I want to talk about in this video is how, um, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, the way your memory works is that, you know, when something makes an impression on you, you really can't forget. You know, when something doesn't make an impression, it's like you pretty much forget immediately. You know, if it's not important, it's like your mind just deletes it instantly. Instantly puts it in the recycle bin. But, um, pretty much if you've memorized something for six months or longer, you'll probably remember it for life. And if you've remembered it for over a year, then you certainly will. Okay, and such is the case for that cold that I had in May of 97 as well as a lot of others that I've had since, where I remember the exact date. And, um, you know, one thing about May 2nd, um, or Friday the 2nd, okay, there was a Friday, June 13th that summer, exactly six weeks later. And you should know that by the fact that um, 13 plus 31 is 44 minus 2 is 42 which is six weeks okay so anytime the month has 31 days the second and the 13th are the same day i mean the 13th of the following month not that month um so yeah um and the same well it wasn't true for september it was september 1st friday september 1st yeah, because it only had 30 days, so anyway, it's kind of, you know, it's just amazing how my mind not only remembers the exact date, but also the weekday, because it's like I see the calendar in my head, and um, one thing I want to talk about on this Friday the 13th, you know, other than how I've always wanted to taunt a black cat on a Friday the 13th. It's how, um, you know, there was this book, this stupid book that I'm, well, a part of me was tempted to buy the book, you know, just to have as a collector's item. Not that I would necessarily ever read it, but then when I saw the price, that made me reconsider. And so instead I'm making a video about it. The title of the book is Beware of Kissing Lizard Lips by Phyllis Schaefer, or something like that. Um, beware of kissing lizard lips, or in my mind I shortened it to just lizard lips. And what it's about is just, you know, just a, a silly book about a sixth grade boy who thinks he isn't strong enough, or tall enough, 
And that really resonated with me in May of 97. You know, because not only am I a female, you know, so for obvious reasons I'm not strong. But because I was coming down with a cold, I felt weak, you know, because I have all this, this fantasy in my head about being a superhero that doesn't catch them. And, um, you know, so this book, you know, I call it Lizard Lips because the title is too long. So I read this silly book in seventh grade thinking, you know, it'd be an easy book and I could get an easy A because I didn't feel like I could could really comprehend something longer and harder um and I had too much other homework and also a piano guild where I made my only perfect score ever um probably because the judge felt sorry for me the way I was coughing like that um and so that's another reason I'll never forget having this cold the first week of May 97 so I read this silly book, Lizard Lips, and as I've stated before, you know, if I had unlimited funds, I might be tempted to buy it, you know, just to, to have like a collector's item, like a keepsake, to remind me of that cold that I had in May of 97. Then I remember what a stupid idea that would be. Um, so I read this book over the weekend, and I was so proud of myself, you know, for reading it so quickly and so easily. But that's why I picked out an easy book. Um, then I get to school on Cinco de Mayo, which I've talked about being a historically bad day in my life. Every, every Cinco de Mayo that I remember, you know, was pretty freaking awful. So on Cinco de Mayo, Monday Cinco de Mayo, I get to school. And I'm still coughing and, you know, my voice sounds different and everything. And I go to test on that book because, see, we would read these books and then we would test on them with this program, this computerized program. And, um, so I wanted to test on it and I thought I'd easily make a 10 out of 10. Well, I go to test and it, I get this error message. And it says that I'm not allowed to test on it because it's too far below my reading level. See, I'm at the end of seventh grade, and it was considered a fourth grade level book. We couldn't read anything below a fifth grade level, you see. And I didn't, I didn't notice that, you know, because I really wasn't feeling too great when I checked it out. And the fact that it was about a sixth grader, I thought it was on a sixth grade level. Okay, so... You know, I, that's something I'll never forget. I mean, I know I probably should, you know, at this point it shouldn't really matter. Because, I mean, so many bad things have happened in my life since then that were so much worse than that. But I will never forget. I will forget a lot of other things. But because of that book and the memory associated with it, I will never forget having a cold in May of 97. You know, even my own mom, you know, wanted to stop me from remembering as I look back at those pictures that we had colds that weekend. You know, despite all the fun we may have had, we also were sick. And my mom, you know, when I, I, I pointed that out to her, she tried to say that we hadn't been sick. I'm like, yes, mom, I miss Friday, May 2nd for a reason. I'm not exactly Ferris Bueller just wanting a day off, so. Anyway, enough about that. Just thought I'd talk about that book.